hello there thank you so much for tuning in in today's video i'm going to be touching on some tips and tricks quite amazing ones by the way and super essential ones when it comes to styling your home these tips will actually allow you to really achieve that beautiful aesthetic home that you are trying to create and hey guys fazati ali here interior designer and let's get right into the video Now, the first thing I'll be talking about is patterns. Now, I know patterns are quite essential when you're trying to really create that beautiful composition in your space. I mean, you have to bring in a little bit of pattern because if everything is super plain, fabric or material, then it's going to be a flat look. But the mistake that people make a lot of times is having way too many patterns such that you have somebody bringing in quite a patterned wallpaper throughout all the four walls in the room. And then they still go ahead and have more patterns maybe in their throw pillows and so on. They have patterns on their carpet. They just have way too many patterns going on in one space. And now everything is trying to fight for attention. You're not really able to focus on a particular thing or actually admire um, one of the patterns or really take it in because now everything is fighting for attention. And this does not create a beautiful calm composition what you want to do is just go ahead and bring in patterns in one of the items uh, maybe a wallpaper and most times I advise people not to go for um, all four walls of a room uh, wallpaper if they're going for something super patterned uh, maybe do this on one wall that will be your focal wall and then the rest of the walls can be in a muted color muted tone this works a lot better than having a super patterned wallpaper throughout the room now once you do this maybe you can add a little bit more smaller scale pattern on a throw pillow if that's what you're trying to create with your pillows on the sofa or on the bed but try to keep them more toned down more muted such that only one pattern is really actually um fighting for attention or creating that focal point in this space so guys all i'm trying to say is it's okay to bring in patterns into your interiors but just make sure that you are not overdoing it because at this point you now lose the beautiful look that you are trying to achieve uh, just make sure you are actually just keeping it to essentials that actually you know make the room pop but you're not overdoing it with all the buttons Now, number two on my list is going to be scale. Now, it is very important that you figure out the size of your space really well when you're going out to buy furniture. You want to avoid the situation where you're getting a really small table when your room is super huge and has very high ceilings. It's just going to be obvious that that does not really fit within the space and it will look lost. Um, you might have a really small space and you bring a really large sofa in and now it's space is too tight for you to even move around to add any other items we have a small bedroom and you bring in a really large bed that doesn't even allow you to have enough movement around doesn't allow you to put side tables on either side of the bed now that does not work anymore you want to be quite realistic when you are picking items for your home so jot down know the size of your room and then figure out what would actually work in the space when you're going out there make sure you already have measurements in mind such that you're telling them okay i'm looking for abc but it needs to be within this scale or within this size so that you're not making this mistake that can actually be quite you know costly because if you bring home something that doesn't fit it means you have to change it sell it buy another one time consuming and of course costly more money is going to be spent so make sure you are avoiding all this and just making sure that you are picking the right size items for your space. Now something else that really icks me is choosing small artworks for a really, honestly, small artworks don't work for a small space, neither do they work for a large space. Those small arts or picture frames that you put on the wall that are so small and they're way above eye level just look horrible i have talked about this in my video on things that cheapen the look of your home and mistakes that you make when styling your home you check them out guys anyway back to focus this do not look good at all they really do not even add anything to the space at this point so make sure you're going for larger art pieces they always look a lot better and in terms of scale they just always fit better and so also make sure you're hanging them at eye level when you put them way too high up in a room then again 
it just looks like it's floating on its own and it's not really creating anything that is actually tying together with the rest of the room it looks kind of lost so make sure you are really keeping these things in mind when you are styling up your home so don't hang your artwork too high don't bring too large or too small furniture pieces and keeping this in mind will actually allow you to really achieve that beautiful space Now, something else you want to keep in mind when styling your space is accessorizing in groups of threes. Now, this comes in where you're probably styling your sofa. Try to bring in pillows in groups of threes, maybe in one corner and then on the other corner. Of course, they're not all going to be the same size pillows because this then does not really create the look that we want. Um, try to have different size pillows such that you have a bigger one, maybe a smaller square, maybe a rectangular one and in threes with different textures maybe different colors that tie together with the palette in the room this will look a whole lot better um number two even when you're accessorizing your coffee table bring in a tall candle holder you know have them in different heights when you're grouping in threes maybe have a taller item have a medium height item and then a shorter item so maybe have a vase a candle holder maybe another candle holder that is shorter or smaller in height um, have a vase maybe with flowers have a dummy book but try to group in threes and ensure that you are trying to also ensure that these items have different textures maybe different in color always ensure that you are also thinking about the different heights that i've talked about this looks really good will be eat on the coffee table on your console drawers on your you know bedside Whichever area you're accessorizing, this is quite a rule of thumb that, you know, it just works. So give it a try and you might realize that you're creating a more aesthetic space. Now when styling your home, your color choices are also super important. Don't just paint your wall with some big bold color without really, you know, figuring out if it's going to work or not. The first thing you want to do is work with the size of space, not put super dark colors in small spaces and go for brighter colors. Most times these are beautiful and neutral colors are beautiful also just to create that background where you can now bring in tints and tones of little accent colors in between maybe in your accessories, in your pillows and the furniture and so on. So it's always beautiful to just start with a neutral color on your walls. If you're trying to create a focal point, then you can have a bold color on one of the walls, maybe a beautiful wallpaper or something of this sort. And then pops of bold colors can come in your pillows, maybe in your accessories such as your flowers and things like that. This mesh really well. Um, you want to really avoid having super bold colors that are just everywhere in the room. It doesn't really that nice beautiful cohesive space anymore also when combining colors these guys always try to use the color wheel you will either get a monochromatic scheme where everything is in one color but in different shades are uh, or number two you get a complementary color scheme this is super bold colors coming in together but using the color wheel allows you to pick the right colors that can work together otherwise you're just gonna be having random colors in the space that may not exactly mesh or blend well you can use the colors on the wheel that are next to each other this usually looks pretty beautiful they're usually the colors that blend the most together because they're next to each other on the color wheel anyways so this is a beautiful um you know way to actually bring a beautiful scheme into the hem in terms of color palette so just be careful when it comes to creating or choosing a color palette for your home make sure that it works and you're not overdoing it with too many colors kind of keeping it toned down and everything looks seamless in the space now something else to keep in mind when styling your space is cohesiveness now this is very important because this is that one feature that allows your whole home to blend and just look seamless and have a really nice flow through it uh, what you want to avoid is just designing each space on its own when it comes to a home such that the entryway is just completely different from what you have in the living room 100 percent different from your dining room say now you have red in one room then you have greens then you have yellows mm, let's try and have a cohesive look this just looks like it's done more professionally and it looks like you really thought through when you were styling your home 
now the only spaces that we might as well just give a go is maybe the bedrooms um these are areas that not everybody really gets access to so feel free to play around um with a different style in there or maybe your kids or your you know your master bedroom and so on but when it comes to areas such as your entryway your corridors your dining room your living room these are areas that are accessed by everybody mostly your guests and everything so keep them in such a way or decorate them in such a way that you are creating a beautiful flow with the features that you'll be incorporating in the spaces so say your color palette flows through the space um the sort of materials maybe if you have a certain um rustic wood in the entryway on the table introduce some rustic wood maybe in the dining chair or on the dining table have a bit of rustic wood in the living area maybe in an accessory or a tray on the table this just creates a flow that might not really be something that you notice immediately walk into a space but subconsciously you'll actually feel like the space is so well tied together and just looks really well done so make sure you are thinking about this when styling your homes you don't have completely different looks in this rooms because it's just not gonna be that great at the end of the day also make sure you have a mood board when picking out items for your home um there's this thing where you just go out and whatever looks great out there you just bring it to the house if you find a beautiful coffee table you bring it to the house it might be beautiful it might be a really nice coffee table but have you thought about how it's gonna work and mesh with the rest of the items in your space have you thought about how it's gonna mesh with maybe the style that you have chosen to work with so think about all this and be very choosy when it comes to bringing furniture pieces to your home and the best way to do this is to just have know your style and have a mood board so that you know exactly what you're looking for and even when you go there and you can't find an exact um say a uh, table or sofa you know what's close to that that you can still work with but don't just pick any item because once they're all in the room that's when you're going to realize oh shit, this looked good on pinterest why does it not look good here because you did not really think about everything that you're gonna bring into the space you kind of pick them in singular form which doesn't exactly work like that so guys to create a cohesive home always be very precise in how you're picking out items and make sure you're creating a beautiful flow within your home Those are just some very basic um, tips that you really need when you are styling your homes. I hope they'll be quite helpful in helping you um, style your spaces and create that beautiful, aesthetic, stunning space that we all want to create in our spaces. So um, feel free to let me know um, if you have any other tips in the comment section below. I would also love to learn from you. Anyway guys, thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share. I'll be truly, truly grateful. Guys, so forgive my voice today. I have a cold. But hopefully next week will be all good. Anyway, see you guys next week inshallah with another video. Love you guys so much. Bye-bye.